Last thing in here, bringing up a Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video, and so we're continuing our series of videos where I'm taking a look at the units who are going to be getting their EZAs uh, with the hero celebration that is coming up uh, in two weeks. Well, we're just under two weeks at this point, so uh, very, very exciting. Um, unfortunately, why did the super attack have to be there? We were going to take a look at the Int Demon Goddess Toa. So this unit. Uh, has the potential to be incredibly good after her EZA, just in terms of the overall utility that she is going to bring to the team. Um, because when we take a look at what she does, um, she is a support unit. She gives all allies three key attack and defense 30%, so you could easily see that go up. Although she does have the high chance to give an additional 10% attack, and then a high chance to give an additional 10% defense. Those are separate, so you can get one or both or none, depending on your RNG for the turn. Um, I could see them putting the attack and defense up to 40, so then if you get the good RNG, she's giving 50. But the big thing about her that I feel like is going to be super useful for difficult content going forward is Extreme Class Allies attack and defense 50% and recovers 50% HP when HP is 50% or less once only. So not only are you getting a heal, but an extra 50% support on top. Now, obviously, on this team, I'm running double uh, Zamasu. So she is not on Zamasu's, uh, any of his 170s, right? She's not Realm of Gods, Worldwide Chaos, or Fused Fighters, which means she is only getting a double 150% leader skill. But you imagine the rotation where we get, like, this LR Zamasu with maybe, like, in LR Rose, and then Toa in slot 3 on a turn where you're at 50% or less HP. So she gives you the heal, and then the you've got LR Zamasu, LR Rose, like AGL Zamasu, LR Tech uh, Goku Black, Int Piccolo Jr. If you're running him on this team, that that rotation suddenly getting an extra 50% attack and defense support on top of the support she's already giving. And if you got that um, RNG luck, right, even if they don't change her support numbers, that means she would be giving 90% support, um, which would just be absolutely ridiculous. So I think, I guess the best bet is to just put her in slot one. Now that's the only major downside is she does not share any links with Zamasu at all. Um, but I mean, he is getting the support from both her and Chilai on this rotation. Um, I can't imagine she's going to do particularly well here against these normals now, even considering no links active. That is the major downside to this unit. So I've got her link partners page up here. Uh, her best link partner is the AGL Darkness Toa who's the other Toa from Heroes that already has her EZA. She's kind of already aged out to the point of being unrunnable in the most difficult content, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, and then we have like Demon Goddess Robel at five links who EZA last year, but again, is not really, you know, particularly good for the more difficult content. We drop down to four links. We have Poutine, uh, the Corrupted Supreme Kai of Time, Physical and Tech Bulma. Unfortunately, not the STR Bulma. She's in the two links section which is unfortunate um so like we get down to three links and that's where we have characters like the lr barbady wheelo um chilai's in there the physical demon demigra that's getting his easy a uh, agl mai but not the other mai's i guess because the other ones have fierce battle and agl has um showering the limit so uh, the major problem is her link partners on all of these other teams right so that's where she's gonna fall short uh, in terms of being built for teams for these other events because I mean I guess it could if we heal a little bit here I guess it depends how hard we get hit, but we'll get the extra 50% I suppose we could do Now I want to try and not get it straight away Because I want to try and get the rotation. I want this AGL Zamasu to go on to the next rotation um, and then if we can get the uh, We keep we keep um, Toa on rotation for this next turn then on the next rotation where she comes around we'll have Tech Zamasu, AGL Zamasu transformed into Fusion Zamasu and then um, Demon Goddess Toa in slot 3 with her passive activating to give the extra 50% and we'll get to see how crazy like Tech Zamasu will go in that turn right so I'm expecting that to be really good. We just have to be able to survive to get to that point because we've already seen with no links active that Toa takes an absolutely ridiculous amount of damage. Now, this team does have a lot of healing on it, so we could be okay. We just, we really need to hope for like a slot on the next turn where there's like one or no attack. Oh, look at that. You beauty. 
And then we do get some links from the um, Barbadie. We get Master of Magic, First for Conquest, and Shattering the Limit. So let's see what those actually do. So Master of Magic is uh, attack 15% and enemy's defense. Uh, Thirst for Conquest is attack and defense 15%. And then Shattering the Limit is 5% as well as 2 key. So it gives her a little bit of extra defense, but we don't have to worry too much uh, as she is not going to take any hits here. So now the question will be, can we take enough damage on this turn that we actually get the uh, below 50% HP? So I won't pick up same type orbs with you. Um, I mean, De uh, I almost said Deborah then. Barbady at the end of the turn could take some damage here. Um, but I mean, like Zamasu, even if like if Fusion Zamasu gets supered here in slot one, now that he's got his attacks off, he's not really going to take any damage. Uh, Toa rocking an absolutely insane 1.45 million attack stat. Crazy. Um, <laughs> and then Barbady at 4.1. Okay. So obviously, you know, she gets 100% attack and defense start of turn, and that's it. And then she obviously gets the support that she's giving to the rest of the team. She obviously gets herself. Um, ideally, you know, we need that start of turn attack and defense to go up a little bit. Um, we do need to get a bit lucky here on this turn, actually, because we are potentially not going to take really any damage. Um, I guess we could do this. And then I need to avoid same type orbs. So we'll do that. We'll do that. And then we'll do this. So no one has any links active. Uh, Goku Black obviously has type advantage, but still takes 70k. Does that is that enough? I think Chi Lai needs to not dodge like one attack, and then I think we'll get it. If she dodges all of them, I'm not sure if we will. Especially because we get the end of turn heal from um, these guys as well. Is it both of them? Do both? I need to double check actually. Is it Zamasu? Do, Int Rose doesn't... Does he heal you at the end of the turn after he gets hit? I can't remember. Unfortunately, his easy A being <laughs> what it was has led to me not really using him outside of the initial video, right? So we'll see. Chilai, hopefully, of course, Chilai doesn't just go ahead and not dodge any attacks on the turn and then gets absolutely destroyed. But oh, come on, at least get hit once. Okay, good. 98k. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Here we go. So even if we get a little bit of a heal, we must be getting the Toa heal on this turn. So... Yeah, boom. Look at that. Health shoots right back up. So this should be active, right? We were way down. So let me just double check these guys, right? So Int Rosé um, does not heal you at the end of the turn, which is good. And then Texamasu. Does he only heal if you get hit? I can't remember. Look how long his passive is. Oh, wait, no. He do he doesn't heal you at the end of the turn. Oh, well, there you go. So, Toa's passive definitely went off. So, this is what we want to see. All links active, apart from big uh, Legendary Power for you and Fear and Faith for you. 50% uh, from Toa's last part of her passive. At least 30% attack and defense from her main support part of her passive. And then maybe an extra 10% attack and maybe an extra 10% defense. But there's obviously still no way in the game at the moment to tell whether those parts of somebody's passive have gone off. But I mean, look at the start of turn. Like Zamasu, Tech Zamasu mostly relies on his damage reduction, right? His start of turn defense is not usually that crazy. So him having 300k is actually pretty good here at start of turn. Um... So let's see what we get in terms of attack-wise from him. Yeah, 19... 19.9. <laughs> so basically 20 million attack stat from Zamasu here, thanks to the uh, passive from Toa, and then 14 million on the additional super. So, I mean, you can see Toa, if she gets an EZA that allows her to be runnable in the current level of content, like when you can get these turns go off, then the whole of the rest of your team is just going to be feasting, right? So if her EZA is good enough, that then, you know, she's in slot three. Hopefully she raises defense on super or something like that. Because obviously, ideally, she then is here on this rotation. She supers in slot three. And then she at least tanks normals, like, reasonably well. Um, and then if that is the case, she's going to look really good on these teams. Obviously, we don't want her coming in and getting hit for... Uh, <laughs> getting hit for that much damage, right? So... Uh, we could do some funny shenanigans here with the uh, Margin Vegeta and then Goku Black next to each other. They've at least got Super Saiyan, but that's basically it. So, not really an ideal setup. Maybe we will just do this. Although we could do Sky Zamasu, actually. 
Yeah, let's do Skies of Marcy, why not? <laughs> Domain expansion. Go ahead and do this. Do this. I mean, you can see here, right? Toa, obviously, you know, letting the side down in terms of the overall performance on her part. Taking almost 200k from a normal at the end of the last turn. Not exactly great. Um, you know, we're only really getting away with it because we're running an event against a tech boss. But, I mean, Zamasu, he's one of the last stages of this Divine Wrath and Mortal Will thing, right? So in terms of his stats, like how hard he hits and stuff, he is obviously a reasonably tough boss. Of course, we can tell from her taking 200k from a normal that Toa would just get absolutely destroyed by a super attack from him. But, I mean, we've made it to turn six, right? She's been on rotation um, three times now, and we haven't died because of her mostly due to good rng but um can we get the w here actually i probably it's probably a bit too dangerous to transform agl zamasu on this turn we're getting the support from chilai so i think we should be looking pretty crazy on this turn um and we because we floated off margin vegeta by the time he comes back the thing is going to be super like overcharged so we might kill him this turn, though, considering the additional. So, yeah, I mean, it's one of those things for like a showcase saying you I would obviously keep Toa on rotation, but that's not great for the team in general, as we saw, because she's not sharing a lot of links with these characters. And then I suppose we do have to cut her a little bit of slack. I mean, she's not going to suddenly drop to double digits, but remember, she's taking 190k from these normals on a team where she's getting double 150 leads. The only problem is her only 200% leads are basically the heroes teams. Uh, Trunks, physical Trunks, obviously he's Carnival LR, 200% to time travelers. And then the STR Carnival Goku, uh, he's a 200% leader for Battle of Wits, which the Toa units are on. Um, but yeah, outside of that, I mean, you know, her role, she's there to provide this support. She makes everybody else on the team look that little bit better. So, I mean, like I say, as long as her EZA makes her runnable, so she's not getting absolutely destroyed. Like, even if she ends up being a unit where she'll tank normals, but she dies to a super, she's still going to have a lot of value for these teams because getting a free heal, uh, you know, even if you're on like 10% HP, she's healing you up to 60, which can still mean the difference between winning and losing against some of these tougher bosses. But... That turn where you're going to get the, like, potentially 90% support. I mean, you can see here, Rosé is doing a 10 million attack stat on this turn. And that's with him just getting the base support from Toa. So, and there you go. We do get the additionals as well. So, I mean, pretty good performance for the team overall. I mean, this team is obviously very powerful anyway. We could have swapped Toa out for probably any other support unit and we would have seen similar results and maybe they wouldn't have been getting hit as hard but the 50 percent heal obviously was pretty nice we got pretty lucky in terms of no one really took any supers in really unopportune places but i would say overall like toa not great on this run but she showed why she will be good on teams once she actually gets her easy a so I think the uh, future's looking bright for our girl. I mean, we get the new free-to-play Toa as part of the Hero Celebration as well. And Tech Toa, the base one, um, she actually does share five links. Well, when she awakens, she only shares four. I'm not sure what changes. I can't remember what link the Tech Toa loses. So Tech Toa SSR has Master of Magic, Demonic Power, Battlefield Diva, Solid Support, and Scientist. What does she lose when she awakens? Um, Demonic Power, Battlefield Diva, Solid Support, Scientist. Uh, wait, which one disappeared? Solid Support, Scientist. Oh, she loses Master of Magic, which is 15% attack. But, I mean, Scientist is too key and 20% defense at level 10. Um, so if that Toa... And then Demonic Power gives 10% defense as well. So if that free-to-play Toa is actually good, next to the Demon Goddess Toa, their links give them 30% defense. So if that free-to-play one is actually good, then they're going to be looking pretty nice together. Now, obviously, I would imagine the free-to-play Toa is probably going to be a support, so they're not going to end up on rotation together a lot. But that is pretty good for a potential link partner for her. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Are you looking forward to the Toa EZA? Taking a quick look at her card art, she probably won't have a great sticker effect. It's just going to be the little bits of black lightning and then this, like, 
red swirl around the edge, I guess. But looking forward to seeing what she does. Uh, and she could be very beneficial for some of these extreme teams. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Masked Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.